Hello, this is another installment for the GC 2014 user interaction and training class. Uh, obviously this is the GC 2014 gas chromatograph with an AOC 20i injector. What we're going to cover is going to be changing the septa out and also changing out the glass liner or the glass insert. Okay, first thing you want to do, back out of the software. Alright, once you back out of the software, cool the instrument down, turn your gases off. Once everything's cooled down, the gases are all off, you can shut your instrument down. Next thing we're going to do, remove the plug from the ALC20i injector, pull straight up on the injector, and that'll remove it from the mounting bracket. Now note on your system, you're going to have some four pins sitting here. That's part of the mounting bracket, <coughs> it's going to be bracket for the injection tower. Next thing we do, remove the lid and that will expose the top of the GC. Right here is where the port is, the injection port. Contained in here will be your septa and your injection liner. Make sure this is cool before you begin any kind of work. Also, very important, before you remove the septa nut, look at your makeup air, your makeup gas. Make sure that reads zero. If that does not read zero, you still have head pressure on here. So what happens, once you open this up, you will hear a pop. If you hear that pop, you need to replace the glass liner as well. That means you had pressure build up and it dislodged the quartz wool inside of the injection port. Alright, if that's zero, everything's cool. We simply unscrew the nut. Here's the injection port guide. We take that off. It's good to blow some air through the liner or excuse me, the guide to make sure it's clear. This is your septa. This should be replaced after at least every 100 injections. All right. To change the septa out, then we get a new septa. Place it in the hole. Make sure it's seated firmly. Place the injection needle guide on top. Screw the knurled nut all the way down. Back it off approximately one half to a full turn. You do not want it tight and you do not want it too loose. It should have some play to it. The reason being is this sits in there enough where it is already sealed. If you screw it down too much, you will deform it and you will cause leaks. All right, that's all there is to changing the septa out. In the next clip, we'll go ahead and discuss changing out the liner and also how to reset the counts for the liner and the septa. All right, in this segment, we're going to discuss how to change the glass liner or the glass insert in the GC2014. All right. In the previous segment, we discussed how to change the septa, so we're not going to go through those steps again. However, the same precautionary steps must be taken. Makeup air needs to be zero, the injection port must be cooled, and the instrument should be turned off. Now changing out the liner is also very much recommended to remove the injection port side of the column. This is located right here under the injection port. Simply take your wrench, loosen up, a couple of turns, you can move it with your fingers. This nut has a slot in it, which allows it to fall through or come through on the column. Take the column out and just simply place that, that end in there. Once the column is removed, take your wrench, which is supplied in your kit, 
loosen the nut and gently unscrew it. Take care not to bend these two leads very much. Just move that gently out of the way. This is your glass liner or insert and that is the o-ring that you'll be replacing. For the sake of training purposes here I will not be putting a new o-ring on there or a glass liner but I will show you the procedure on how to do that. If you have a system that's been used for any length of time this o-ring will be deformed and it will be pretty much heat sinked to the injection port itself. You'll want to get a pair of tweezers to pull that out. Take your tweezers and gently pry it around the liner. It's very important not to scratch the lined surface of this injection port. Once you loosen up that o-ring the liner should come out fairly easily. Pull that up and that is the glass liner. You notice the quartz wool is in there. If you see the quartz wool up here or completely missing that means that when we talked about having your makeup gas to zero you actually had a head pressure on here and that was not to zero and that blew out the quartz liner or quartz wool once you remove the septa. If you do that just put a new liner in there. Alright we're going to take a new liner which looks just like that. Take a new o-ring Place the O-ring on top, push it down approximately 10 millimeters. Of course, if you have rubber gloves, that's best to use rubber gloves or at least use a chem wipe to wipe it off before you put it in there. Next thing we do is gently drop it in there and gently push down until it bottoms out. It will seat itself to the proper height. Something very important to note. When we went in there and we disconnected the collar and removed the collar from the injector side, there's a definite reason for that. If you change this out and you do not take your collar out, you run a high risk of one, breaking your column end, or two, pushing it to the side and it will not line up inside of here correctly when you put that liner down there. So that column end must be removed from the injection side of the column inside the oven. So if that's done, we're going to go ahead and put the cover back on. Line this up evenly. It's very important to have this flush. You don't want to have it angled forward or back or side to side. The knurled nut should go on top of the fitting very smoothly as such. Okay. Go ahead and screw that down finger tight and it should screw on very easily. Take your wrench and just snug it down. You do not want to crank on that too tight. Just snug. If you crank it on too tight and you hear a cracking sound, that means it's too tight and you broke the liner. You need to clean it out and redo it. Next step, once again, put your septa in as in the previous video. Put the injection port needle guide, the knurled nut, Screw it down, back it off a half to a turn. Now we can go in and you can insert your column back into the system or back into the injection port. Bring your system up as you normally would and recheck your settings. If you notice the injection side here and the detector side is still attached and that's okay. I take the detector side of the column, place it in the port, look for the threaded side of the nut, finger tight, and then one quarter turn. That's it. That should be snug. Once you go ahead and replace a septa or an injection liner, you go on and reset the instrument on the counter because it has a counter inside. 
So you get to your main screen, push monitor, push the diag button. That brings you to this screen. Okay, it's diagnosis menu. You can just simply want to go to analysis counter, push three, and enter. And that brings you to the analysis counter here. Don't worry about the AOC weight, but right here you'll see counter for SEPTA. I'm going to toggle down. And down here in the options, PF1, PF2, or PF3, PF2 says reset. Now watch the number here. Currently I have 35. If I push that, it goes to zero. Do the same thing down here for counter insert. It says 35. I'm going to go to reset. We're at zero. I hit enter to accept everything. Now I can hit return. Monitor. And there you go. It's good for another 100 injections before you get the air again.